Okay. Yeah, today we are going to discuss, uh, I think you see goats. And uh, there is many people that have been asking me, Hamis, we want to start goat farming. What are the requirements of starting goat farming? So today I'm going to discuss just a very few things about how to start goat farming and what are the requirements of goat farming. Um, where I am, uh, I'm at my farm in one of the sections of the boas. I think uh, you can come in and then we see what exactly is happening. Me, I told you, I, I, I promised you that I will have to break up the business of goat farming. I'll need to give you information about goat farming, uh, the profits. You need to learn a lot of things. You need to learn a lot of things. You have to know everything about goat farming. Because me, as me, I believe in giving information and let people understand. First and foremost, uh, first come uh, and uh, show them this. Um, Ivan, one good goat. So I, I want to show you, you know, I always want to show you something that can entice you, something can trigger you, something that can make you appetized to really have the business in nature. Uh, <laughs> if you really love uh, goat farming, follow me very well, understand me very, very well. And today I'm breaking up the requirements of starting up a goat farming. Uh, the moment you get a dream of having goat farming, uh, the reason why I first, I first show you goats is because the intention of making business in goats is this. The moment you're not making this, you're not making dollars out of them. So you better think about this. Uh, this is a goat of uh, one month maximum. I wish these guys had uh, a weighing scale. We would weigh to know that this goat is weighing over 20 kilos live weight. And uh, how does it come? It's because of genetics, because of management, because of nutrition. And uh, before you go into all that, just know you need to have what they call the requirements. Oh, look at this. These are two beautiful guys. I think you can see if the cameraman is very genuine. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Okay, now get back to the point. I am. Uh, I was explaining to you the uh, requirements of starting up goat farming. I'm talking to you who is thinking about of starting goat farming from wherever you are. Let it be America. Let it be where. Um, this is what you have in mind. Uh, you have seen the animals, and that's the reason of starting up goat farming. Uh, we really need to have those kind of results. Uh, how do you get that kind of results? You really need to have the requirements. What are those requirements? Like the moment you think about of goat farming, guys, think about of the land. When I talk about land, people get scared. It is expensive. I know. But it's a requirement. There is no how you're going to do goat farming and you don't have land. You get it? So first put the land on ground. Let me tell you one thing. Uh, many of you people have been saying that you're going to the village, going very far in the village. It is not good for you. You're not happy to have that. But one of the requirements is land. The bigger the land you get, the cheaper you do got farming. The further you move towards the village, the cheaper the land, the more bigger land you get, the less investment you put in the in the pastures. I don't know whether you really understand me because most of you guys have been telling me, Hamis, why did you go so far like this in the village to look for the land? The reason why I moved far, and it's not far by the way, because I'm 134 kilometers from the main town of Kampala. So that means if somebody is riding maybe 100 kilometers per hour, he only needs maximum one hour or one and a half but because the road is not that good that's why you take like two hours so it's not far the reason why we moved far we needed bigger land because an acre here we buy it at five millions and uh, some time back we used to buy it even less money than that so that's the reason why we have to move further so we get cheaper land and do the project so one of the requirements that you have to think about, I again say it, it's land. Which kind of land do you need? Um, it, 
that will depend on your financial muscle. The smaller the land, the much money you invest in the pastures to plant. So basically, uh, if I go into the business sense of the project, um, land, an acre of land, if you buy it, five millions. An acre of land, if you want to do zero grazing, an acre will feed over 50 goats. How? By doing what they call nutrition or pasture management. If you're doing pastures um, on an acre of land, it can give you feeds which can feed up to 30 goats. For, sorry, 30 to 50 goats in a year. Let's say if you plant your maize, let's say if you plant your brachelia mulatto, let's say if you plant your alfalfa and you really need to do goats on zero grazing, that an acre will give you feeds which can feed 30 to 50 goats. But in which conditions? Because also a condition happens. Like in this country, Uganda, we have a lot of regions. We have different regions in this country. We have northern, we have central, we have eastern, and all of them, they have different rain patterns. So in those areas that have a lot of uh, rains, like Fort Potter, uh, like central Uganda, those ones can do up to 50 goats. Even, they can even go to 100. So, if you think about of goats, think about these things. One, which kind of system do I need? If you want to do zero grazing, you need small acreage. If you want to do open range, you need bigger acreage. Because an acre on free range will feed up to 13 goats. Though, in some conditions, in some areas that have very good rain patterns, you will do of... Uh, uh, 20, 20 to 25 goats on an acre, on free range. Free range, <coughs> sorry, I mean, like the way you see these animals, they will definitely be going to feed. And uh, I was making them as very late because they wanted me to come show you these animals and then they take them to feed. So my animals go for free range. So that means an acre is... Uh, managing over 20 goats because here we always have very strong patterns of the rain the rains is consistent <clears throat> if we don't have it in two months at least in the next three months we shall have it so our acre here can accommodate up to 20 to 25 goats that's how we do it so the requirements that you need one is land and i've told you which kind of land that you really need so the moment you think about of goat farming Think about of the land. If you're getting smaller land, think about of the system that you're going to use. The smaller the land, the more investment you need in pastures. And uh, that means you will need uh, a zero grazing system. Because you have a smaller land and you need to increase on the number of the animals, do zero grazing. I think you guys are making some sense to you. Because what I really want, I want you to understand. Because most of you ask me, Hamis, now that we are going to do uh, goat farming, um, I'm thinking about it. What is required and what do I start with? So basically, that is what I can tell you. The moment you wake up and you want to do uh, goat farming, think about of the land first. And that land you're thinking about is going to determine the number of animals depending on the system of farming that you're going to use. But also... When you're selecting land to put your project on, make sure that you look at the land that has uh, water, water source, or else it has um, uh, a water table being uh, uh, at, at a higher end, whereby you don't need a lot of money to drain water, just in case you want to drain from underground. So land, the kind of pastures that are on that land, and also the water source of that land so if you have the water source you can make your own pastures if you don't have water source then you're not making your own pastures that means that land is not good so i will also be explaining to you how to choose how to select land because that also matters a lot because most of you people have gone to buy land and you're buying the low land alone and also some of you people have gone to buy land and you're buying the highland land only is uh, uh, a highland and you don't have a lowland so a land must have two sections 
one should be low and one should be up upland is where animals wants to stay and do feeding <coughs> uh, on those grasses goats don't want to feed on the low land but how you how do you use the low land it's a pasture bank you plant the grasses and then you take them to the upper land. The reason why we prefer that low land because it always has water and you can do irrigation, you can get uh, water easily. It, it, you know, it gives you your pasture bank that we always be giving you the grasses. So guys, that's what I really wanted to inform you. Those who are thinking about goat farming, think about of the land first, uh, which of which land must have water and must have very good pastures so those are the three basic things that you have to bear in your mind before starting up goat farming i'll also be explaining to you how do you start goat farming now that you've got the land and that land is completely suitable for you to uh maybe uh, start the project let me just wish you let me just end up there i'll be coming back here to explain to you um now that you've got land what can you do next i'll take you about more segments because i've done this many times but people still keep asking me those same questions that's why i always try my best to make sure that i explain it to you i let you understand it let me wish you the best as for now and bye for now yeah now uh today i'm going to explain something uh in the last episode i talked about the requirements i talked about land and uh, me as me, this is just a piece of advice for those people that don't have land. Land is one of the things that are very expensive to buy. But in some areas, people are still green about land. So you people who are starting to do good farming, and uh, in reality, you don't have a lot of money to invest in the land. If I tell you how much money I have invested in land, it's a lot of money. You get it? So that's why I always advise you that don't spend a lot of money on land how are you going to do it when you've not bought land but you really need to do the project so this is my technique and i might not even go back to buy land you get it you know i'm i'm so addicted to animals so whenever i see some animal i feel i really need to show it to you look at this guy uh, i don't know yeah look at this guy is really looking so huge and pretty. Just imagine which kind of babies this guy is going to give me. The guy is very dirty and shows that he is very, very active. Anyway, let's go back to um, the way of getting land easily. How do we get land easily? Uh, me as me, Hamis, I don't think whether I can spend even more money buying land. But this is a trick. I want you guys to understand it. Uh, if you're buying land, even if you're buying a very small land, make sure that you buy land on the person that has a bigger chunk. Do, do you get it? Buy land where you have uh, an opportunity of doing an extension. Don't just buy land because your friend told me that you buy there. You get it? Buy land where you can have an opportunity of doing an extension. So don't buy on the land which only has 30. 